All right, cyber friends, this is Middle Man coming at you again from Walker Studio, back in Studio B. And just to let y'all know that I do call this Studio B. Got my old trusty keyboard, I told y'all. I never turned it off. Never turned it off. I use it as a keyboard controller as well as it got onboard sound. That's what you hear in there, but didn't come here for that this morning. Or this afternoon, I should say. Um, if you see my title of this video, it's come from a title of a song that our dear sister Tina Turner came out with a few years back. What's love got to do with it? <laughs> my Jesus, what's love got to do with it? That's a question. Many man gonna sit here this afternoon in the midst of it all, y'all, to let you know that uh, we give God the glory, all the praise, and give him all the honor. We thank him for as well as it is, my brothers and sisters. In the midst of all of the turmoil and the perplexity in the land, we still gonna give him the glory. Um, I, I, I got some information just about an hour ago, maybe two hours ago, maybe, perhaps, uh, that uh, another another friend of mine, an acquaintance I know knew very well, had passed away. And you know now, everybody dying now is because of the corona, regardless of what. Everybody that's getting sick or dying now, it is because of the corona to let some people tell it. I don't know, my brothers and sisters. I don't know about that. But nevertheless, uh, I did get the news that one of my associates and I called a friend. I've been, I've been knowing him now a pretty good while. And in other words, I haven't heard anything from uh, any of the family. Um, members about nothing anyway, but especially in the wake of all of this stuff that's going on in our land. But I wanted to say, and I, I was talking to my mom, and um, we discussed a few things, and I told her, you know, I reverted back to what Jesus said about in the last days. He did say the love of many, because iniquity, iniquity will be abound, will be so rapid. The love of many will wax cold. And my brothers and sisters, it's here. You know, people will see you dying and will step over you before they reach down to try to help you up. That's just how cold that love done got. In the in our land, people, and then in the in the in the advent of all of this stuff that done recently happened with this here coronavirus, and uh, now everybody's just afraid of each other. You you don't even want to get within six feet of of people. You don't want to touch them. You don't want to shake nobody's hand. You don't because you're afraid that they got the virus. And oh my God, I mean Satan got to be having a field day. Off of that. He's got to be having a field day because he loves separation. But I'm just saying, people, take y'all precaution. God knows. I don't want anybody to think that Middle Man is advocating a craziness because I'm not. Take your precaution, but let us not lose our minds in the process. I mean, come on, y'all. Jesus said, that in the last days, that the love of many, because iniquity will be so much, so rapid and abound, that the love of many will go to white cold. People right now will just as soon step on you than to pick you up. And I mean, it's family folks too. I mean, and what I mean by that, not only your, 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 your biological family, but we even, we got a, we got a spiritual family, which is our, the body of Christ. That I'm talking about not the church building. It ain't got nothing to do with that building. But I'm saying we got people that are supposed to be in the family of God. 
we stepping on each other too. We treating each other just as wrong because love is wax cold. In other words, when Tina Turner, I wish I could shake her hand today and, and tell her, and when, I, when she said, what love got to do with it? I would tell her absolutely nothing right about now. Absolutely nothing. It ain't got nothing to do with anything because the love of us has waxed cold, like Jesus said. Oh, brother, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all this here, this, this, this afternoon, I mean, you know, my wife, even, uh, she had to go to the doctor today, she had to went down, she went to see the doctor, she had a cough, and she believed it's the sinus and everything, but everybody wanted to be saved and sorry, you know, we're going to get things checked out, because, you know, everything now has got to be the corona, everything, so uh, we are, uh, you know, She's gone down to get that done and everything, and we're going to wait and see on that. I believe it's an allergy because, I mean, I suffer with it also, allergies, and it'll play up on me at times. But, you know, this time, at thus far, well, thank God, I haven't had any of the symptoms. I haven't done no coughing or anything. Uh, and my, I've been like that ever since, for the last two years, since I became ill. I mean, my, my, my signs and my blood work and everything, Thank you, Jesus, have been A-OK -okay with me thus far. So, omitted man said here before y'all this, as, as of this moment, and I feel that everything is all right. Now, how that going to be the next five minutes, I don't know. But I'm saying, let us not forget about love, people. We don't even want to turn people favors anymore. That's just how bad this thing is getting. It's getting worse by the day. But I do believe that we're going to get some relief from this thing very soon. I got something I'm watching, and I will let y'all know about it by and by, but right now I can't say anything. But I do believe that we're going to get some relief from this thing pretty soon. Until then, I'm going to pray for y'all strength, and I'm going to pray for my strength, and y'all help me pray. My, my inner circle, my close inner circle for friends, if y'all see this video, please pray that we keep our mind rooted in our Lord and Savior. And let us continue. Hey, those that are going on, we can't do nothing about that now. Only we can pray for their families and that God will give them strength to endure. But nothing we can do for them now. But let us pray that this, this thing will break very soon. Because I'm mighty afraid if it doesn't break real soon, half of the population going to lose their mind. I'm just really, because see, the, this is what the world, the book say that Jesus said. He said, except for those days be short, no flesh would survive. He was talking about another thing there. But I'm, I'm speaking on it as, a, as an overall general thing. Because we, are done, we, we have given this here a coronavirus. Or uh, corner, whatever they want to call it, I don't care what you call it. That we don't get the corner, corner bone virus or the corner this COVID nineteen, COVID sire or cyber this or whatever it is. We have given this thing more glory and more strength with our mouths than I, than, the, than the actual virus have, according to the experts. Now this is not me, man. I'm not an expert there. I'm just speaking what the experts say. They said the virus is really not as even as strong as the flu. And y'all remember the flu were killing folk to beat the band when it first came. And you can read that in history books. The, the flu was 10 times better than this thing. But thing of it, we don't know too much about this one. And, and they, they say it attacked people that are already have pre-existing conditions, like myself. I'm a candidate. Yes, people, many man is a prime candidate for corona. According to, this, if, if they saying that if I would contract it, it have a more mortality rate to take me out, because of the fact that I'm a diabetic, and also I'm, I, I have hypertension, among other things. But I said here before you right now, as far as I know, just as solid as a rock, and I'm going to attest that to prayer. And not being afraid. I refuse to fear. I tell y'all not to do it as well. 
Don't fear this thing, but put your trust in God. Now, you know what? I say it like this here, y'all. What if? What if we do contract this virus? Is, is that going to still make God not be God? No. No. We can't explain the people, y'all, that have died. I wish I could give you an explanation of, about that. I can't. I don't have that type of wisdom. That's above my pay grade, as Obama would say. That's above my pay grade. I wish I could tell you and give you everybody an explanation of what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I can only state what I feel what's going on. But the no, no, only God knows. Only God knows. And he's the one that's going to solve this thing. In just a few more days, I do believe that. But I'm saying this here, y'all, go back to the question in my in my topic of, of this afternoon. What's love got to do with it? It's got everything to do with it. It's got everything to do with it. We need to get back to love. That's the, that's the main thing. We do not love each, nobody but ourselves. But ourselves. I'm talking about the most of us. Not everybody. You can't put everybody. You don't throw out the baby with the bath water. You can't say everybody because that was well, that true about me too. Come last time I checked, I was somebody or everybody too, and you are or everybody as well. So I'm not saying everybody, but the majority of the people that we come in contact with from day to day, we are the some of the selfish people. We don't care about nobody but number one. And I just don't believe that we, God meant for us to be that way. We should have our mind on others more so than our own selves. Jesus taught us that in the Good Samaritan. Jesus taught us that with the, the parable of the Good Samaritan. How this man went out of his way to help a stranger. And not only a stranger, but a Jew. And the Jews and the Samaritan had no dealing with each other. It was just like black and white years ago. We don't got better. It ain't like it should be. But we don't got a lot better than it was. It was just like the prejudice that we had against the races with black and white years ago, like the Chinese and the Japanese. That's a that's a racism with those ethnic ethnic groups. But it was just like that in the Jesus day. About this, here. the Samaritan didn't have no dealing with the Jews because the Samaritan was a half breed. The Jews thought themselves better. The original Orthodox Jew, they thought themselves better. Then the Samaritan, because they were mixed with everything. They intermarried and everything. And they did they served all kinds. Well, I ain't going into all that, but then remember, that was a prejudice there. And this man that was hated, or supposedly have been the one that's hated. This Samaritan did more for the man that was sick than the Jews did. And they was the one that was they, they were full-blooded brothers with this man. But it was the Samaritan that showed the love. Y'all, we got to do the very same thing. Many man, I'm just telling y'all that because I, I believe in that. I believe in that. And you know what, y'all? I know that a lot of us, we, we do the best we can. I, I know we do. A lot of us do the best we can. And we can't make other people do anything. Like I say, I, I tell it all the time. You cannot make grown folks do a thing. God doesn't even make us do anything. He gave us free will. But it would sure be mighty nice. If we will forget about ourselves sometime and put somebody else above our agenda. Like that good Samaritan did, the Jew that got caught and fell among thieves. And I love the way this Jesus told the story that the man not only took care of the man, but he put him on his own beast and took him to a motel or an inn, as you would say, and told him to, told him to take care of it. And whatever else he had to spend beside the money he gave him right there, he's when I come back, I'll pay it. Don't worry about it. Spend whatever you got to spend, but take care of the man. Y'all, we won't even do that for people that we so-called know. Let's know a stranger. I'm just saying, y'all, just remember that. Middle man, I'm just talking what I see in the Bible. And I got some more stuff I got to tell y'all. It's coming tonight. And it is my prayer that we all can get it. It is my prayer that we all will connect with one mind tonight and that we'll see some things and I believe that everybody can put aside a little bit or a lot or all of this fear that we have 
Now this thing is is this this it, it is no doubt that we got something going on in the land. There ain't no doubt about that. But what is it? Y'all just join me tonight. Join me tonight in the Bible study. And uh, somebody in a circle, Sister Jennifer, Sister Jackie, Sister Lena, Sister Kate, my all of you, Brother Hammerman, Sister Leone, and Sister Lola, all of y'all, y'all names that I just called it, then y'all mostly be in my Bible study, which is uh, Sister uh, Jennifer, Sister Jackie, Leona, and Lola, y'all mostly be in my Bible study, thus far as Sister Tina, Pastor, Pastor Seedley. We thank God for y'all. We hopefully that we will see y'all on tonight. It is my prayer. And uh, that some more light will be shed on this subject matter. But as Tina Turner said, what's love got to do with it? It's got everything to do with the people if we get back to it. With that being said, this video man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God is not in it, it's best that you come out of it because it's going to come to nothing. Until tonight, to the Bible study. Have a great day. Thus far, keep your head up, keep, keep your knees bent. And we're going to say thank you, Jesus. Till the next time, peace and out.